Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to my Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, we're going to do a very short video here because I'm talking about two, only two short stories and both of them were in the Star Wars Adventure Journal and both of them written by Charlene Newcomb, come to think of it. Uh, the first one was in the Star Wars Adventure Journal number three. Uh, this was called Mission to Zilla and this one, Alex Winger, is basically taking place roughly two years after the last adventure uh, happened, so she's grown up a little bit more, she's two years older, and it's continuing her fight against the Empire, you know, on her own little rebellion world. And let me just go ahead and skip to the next one too, because it takes place right after that. This was in Star's Adventure Journal number four, and it's called Shadows of Darkness. Uh, basically, she's fighting uh, the Imperials, uh, fighting their takeover of Garrus IV. Uh, again, I've talked about this. I didn't really like Alex Winger. I ha actually, I hate her. She's a very bland character. She's not very interesting. And I just wasn't invested in those stories. A lot of people loved Alex Winger because she was in the first four or maybe five or six, I can't remember, uh, Star Wars Adventure Journals. And so her character was being developed in every Adventure Journal that came out. So people instantly connected with her and said, ooh, when's the next Alex Winger coming out? I remember that was a big deal. Uh, but for me, I never did like her, never liked Alex Winger. Uh, she's still dreaming of meeting this blonde haired boy, young man or whatever. It's obviously Luke, we all know that. And I'm like, dream on Charlene. If you think that Bantam is gonna pick up on that and say, yeah, Luke should get with Alex Winger. Whatever, whatever. I just thought that was just too much. And why is she dreaming about him? You know, I mean, is a fascination. She, maybe Charlene's hoping that her character will be elevated to novel status and marry Luke. Maybe that wasn't her, her intention at all. And I am being a little too harsh on Charlene Newcomb. Because according to some of my friends who uh, write, uh, Charlene Newcomb got a lot of people's uh, start in the business. In fact, that's how Richard Hanley got his start into Star Wars was thanks to Charlene Newcomb uh, because when Rich Hanley said, hey, I got an idea for a sequel to one of your characters, she went, well, why don't you write it? He's like, what? And he's like, yeah, come on, I'll help you. And then you can, you know, she helped him and they wrote some stories together. Then he went off on his own, wrote some more stories for the expanded universe. So I can't fault her. I, I'm, I'm sure as a person, Charlene Newcomb is a great person. I'm, I'm sure she is. And I don't hate all of her stories, but her Alex Winger stories are basically considered by a lot of Star Wars fans, especially Western Games fans, to be her best. And I'm just telling you, I didn't like them at all. I did not like them at all. Alex Winger is so generic. Remember when I talked about the Knight Errant series from John Jackson Miller and how that character is just boring as all get out? That's exactly how I feel about Alex Winger. She is just boring. There's nothing interesting about her. Plus the storyline of a, and I told you this was a problem that West End Games had a lot, was to put, you know, someone on a, you know, they're on a, in a rebel sail on an imperial controlled planet and they're sticking it to the man from where they can. I understand that because it makes for a good role playing idea, right, on another planet. But to have the story over and over and over again, that was another reason why I was like, mm, I don't really care about this. So I, again, I might be in the minority on Alex Winger and that's fine. I don't hate Charlene Newcomb. I think she's fine. Uh, but I just don't like this series. You just can't convince me that Alex Winger is a really good series. That saying, should you read it? Yeah, you should always read something and decide for yourself. Don't make me the person you say, well, if Matt doesn't like it, I'm not going to bother with it. Well, hey, Matt doesn't like a lot of books that a lot of people love. So don't really listen to me. You know, read it and find out for yourself. All right, folks. Well, I told you this would be a short one. That's because I got other things I want to talk about. But we'll save that for another video. See you next time.